Hello everyone. Ever since I got my uh, first Mac, my new uh, MacBook, I've been uh, been thinking about for a while. You know, the greatest uh, Mac accessory is an iPod. And you know what? This is my MacBook's not in there. It's uh, right over there. Just make sure you know that. But um, greatest Mac accessory is the uh, iPod. I've never had a iPod before. So, you know, we're going through the latest uh latest ones out. The uh iPod Classic, huge massive storage, never would need it, but still it's the classic iPod which I really do admire. Nano, not too interested in that, too small for me. Shuffle, even less interested in that because no screen never really appealed to me. And then there was the uh, iPod Touch, which I had some serious uh, considerations on. Almost came close to getting a couple times. Just uh, things that really stopped me from getting as a. Uh, it just seemed like a real kind of like an iPhone for for little kids, so you don't have to pay a bill every month. But I really wanted the Touch, but I didn't want to feel like I was being a. Uh, being cheap on it, so I'll show you what I got. Get that box out of the side. I got the uh, iPhone 3G. Now, there's nothing in this box except for just some paperwork because they had to activate it in the store at uh, at the AT and T store here in Cincinnati. But this is going to be, I would much rather have done an unboxing video of this. But I'll just show you what's, uh, what's really in the box. Come on. Let's open it up. There's the phone right there. Designed by Apple in California. There's like a there it is. There's like a little paper clip right there, which you use to uh, push in the. There's a little hole in the top to remove the SIM card. I didn't even realize this was there until I uh, looked up online on how to remove SIM cards, even though I have no desire to do so. Cleaning cloth, the stickers. I might actually use these stickers for something. Fingertips. And a little instruction manual. Once again, I was really impressed with the box design on this iPhone because I was just for the same reason I was with the uh, MacBook. I just love Apple's packaging. It really uh, makes it really exciting to uh, buy stuff from them when they have as good packaging as this. And it came with a USB 30 pin dot, uh, connector. A little tiny uh, wall jack here, which I was expecting something like the size of my MacBook, which was a rather big uh, cube. Yeah. I didn't even realize I didn't have these lights on. Sorry. This little wall jack. Came with some headphones, which I uh, still have in the wrap because the speakers on it are so good, I really have no need for these. As of yet, and I went ahead and bought the uh, dock, which is, was separate. Which uh, more I really haven't used more or less because I really want to keep mine in the case. But on the iPhone now, here it is. Oh. Just so you don't see fingerprints on it, I have it uh, in this. Uh, leather shell case yep it still has the leathery smell wish you could smell it wish YouTube would get a smell vision it was made by Griffin I can use the dock connector if I really really wanted to if I took the bottom out and then did this but uh, I prefer having the case on it. 
So I really wasted my money. I was just kind of buying this, hoping I could use some sort of case with it, but not yet. I uh, really haven't messed around with too many of the uh, applications yet. I did have a lighter on here. Man, I wish I still had that on there actually, but so I could show you it. But it's pretty neat. It was like a virtual Zippo lighter, but uh, the only ones I really have right now are this uh, Labyrinth game. Which, uh, it's gonna be really stupid at this, on the dock like this. But yeah, but you get the general idea. And, uh, I booted Whoopee Cushion. Pretty, uh, pretty stupid, but I, th I find it real funny. Take it off that. And yeah, I do have this uh, little screen protector on it right now just because I'm, you know, real paranoid. I even know the screen is real, uh, real uh, safe because the guy who sold me my uh, iPhone at the stores took a, he had an iPhone, he took a razor blade and started doing to his. So that was a, I, probably should don't even need this but I think I'm I'm definitely going to keep this case up because the backs of these are pretty scratch scratchable so I just want to keep that this is the 8 gigabit 8 gigabit model the uh, black one which I really like the black it's pretty slick so I which I wish this wasn't so scratch because uh, scratchable because uh black looks real slick on it but, yeah, instead of just getting an iPod, I just went full out and went with the uh, iPhone here. Let's see uh, what's actually on my iPod. Hard Knocks. Some Incubus. Smash, uh, Smashing Pumpkins. Yeah, yeah, yeahs. Guns N' Roses, I really like their new CD, so, not too many songs, just, uh, I only bought a few songs ever since I bought my MacBook, so, alright, that's, uh, I, I'm not going to go through everything that the iPhone can do, but I'm really, really impressed with this, I haven't had so much fun on the phone before, and the emailing is great, the texting is fun, the phone the Safari web browser. Let's just go to that real quick. See what's new on the uh, TF TFW 2005. Refresh a page. Do it like this. Revenge of the Fallen Autobot Skids review. Nothing new since I was there before. Okay. Well, I'm going to end it. Uh, really excited about this uh can't wait to see all the new all the cool applications i love the google maps with the uh gps that's real useful for me since uh since i'm on the road all the time come on find me oh well there I'm, there i am all right that's about it well real cool always was interested in getting the iPhone and it was worth every penny of me even uh, not going through Verizon anymore so much worth it alright until next time thanks for watching